proxy system. Um, but then, you know, for the new website, we wanted the chat system to be extremely stable, extremely um, solid. Um, and so I'm actually going to kind of give you a little hint here. It's actually kind of funny. Um, so, you know, there are certain things that, that I like about certain uh, sites and things like that. JTV, Justin.TV, has a great chat system, okay? Um, so, you know, in my opinion, it's just it's no different than when you're building, um, you know, a car or whatever. If a certain part works for your car, you just go get it and you put it onto your car, okay? Um, so you've got, you know, a maker of spark plugs that are making spark plugs for every kind of car, not just Mercedes or not just, you know, Fords. So so basically, I... I, I we went and uh, we found out who actually wrote JTV script, and I hired them to do the J the chat for UFAG TV. So, so a lot of the stuff that you're going to see in the chat room uh, on JTV, uh, you'll see it on UFAG as well. So the guy is a, an absolute genius, and ironically enough, he came from my hometown in in Tennessee. So it's kind of funny. So so yeah, so that's some of the differences there. Um, when we initially launch. When when we initially launched, we um, were also going to be doing a lot of updating. Okay, we're trying to get the site out for you guys. I know everybody's kind of really impatient for it, so we wanted to get the site out. We wanted to make sure that we can get live, we can get everybody broadcasting, and then we're going to have a lot of features that are come out. Some of the things that you're going to see is like PSN trophy integration, Xbox Live achievement info integration. Um, Xbox Live DNA, Xbox, you know, um, sending, being able to send messages, um, you know, being able to buy a game uh, directly from someone's page that they're, so if they're broadcasting Gears of War and you want to buy Gears of War, you can click on it and it'll take you right to a place that you can buy. Um, you know, there's basically a lot of different things that we're going to be doing uh, for the gaming community that will only really work for a gaming community. All right, so bring on the next question. I'm 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 ready to I'm ready for it. All right, all right, Shane. I I have a question for you. Um, first time meeting you, but obviously you sound like a really cool guy. But I'm gonna put you up on the spot right away as the first question I've ever asked you. Um, right. Xbox Live or PlayStation Network? You know, uh, <laughs> wow, that's a wow. You really did throw the me out. The eternal battle. <laughs> um. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go with Xbox, and the reason why I'm gonna go with Xbox is because. I, I'm going to go on the record as saying I think the PS3 is a far more superior system, and I think mm. that if done right, uh, the PS3's online has much more potential than the Xbox 360 because of the way that Microsoft likes to control everything. Okay. Um, so I'll say that, but I say as far as the to date, um, I think the Xbox Live uh, system is a lot more smoother than the PS3. Um, and has a lot of features that just kind of work together really, really well. Um, so, but I'll also say that I don't think the PS3 is incapable of doing those things. I don't know exactly why they haven't yet. If they're just catching up or what, I don't know. But um, I do think that the PS3 is a superior system. I do like the Xbox Live system a little bit better, though. So basically you're saying PS3 has the potential over Xbox, but as of right now, Xbox Live is definitely f in, like superior to it. I would. I, that's exactly what I would say. Yeah. All right. I I, I appreciate it, and I definitely respect that opinion. Are you trying to get old fanboy, Mike? Yeah, I know. I was gonna say he's like worship, worship. I what? Know. Look into PS my eyes. Is pissed right now. I'm just. Hey, listen. <laughs> I'm 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 giving both of them props, but I mean, from a technical standpoint, I've got a you know. Listen, you know. I am in no way an Xbox fanboy. I just I love my Xbox 360 over my PlayStation 3. I just honestly yeah. think that my game choices are better for my 360. I, I mean, am sorry. It, I mean, even to play Netflix, if you I want to watch a Netflix, I've got to go rummage through my damn DVDs to find my Netflix, you know, discs put in my PS3. But that just goes to show you how like they're they're still progressing. When Xbox came out, it was it was done. You know what I mean? Correct. Like so. They're still progressing, and I know that they can make these improvements, but that's a prime example of kind of what I was talking about. So, mm -hmm. All right, so let's get into my next question. Uh, we know you, Frank, loves to go to big events. Which events will we be going, and is there any surprise... Wow, I can't speak. Surprise events we will be blown away about this year. Um, wow, you guys are really going to put me under the gun here. Um <laughs> So, so I, I I'm not going to list the, the 
key events that we're going to go to. Um, I, I will say that, um, uh, okay, how can I put this here? Okay, first of all, we're going to be going to all the, all the normal events that you guys would expect us to go to. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, we're going to be going to the PAX, we're going to be going to the E3s, we're going to be going, you know, to all the major events. Um, there are a lot of things that's in the work with us right now. Um, that we're, we're working out the details actually as we speak, and you guys could actually see some of this happening as early as 30 days from, what is today's date? 14th. Okay, 30-something days from today's date. Um, so there's a, there's a lot of things that are, that are happening. I'll, I'm, just, I'm not going to mention a lot of stuff because if things don't pan out, I hate to be called an asshole liar, okay? okay. So I'm going to say that there's a lot of interest in television networks right now. Um, we could be very well be broadcasting both live on the internet and to network television as well. Um, wow. So, and, 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 and if that happens, it'll happen within the next 30 days um, or 30-ish days from the time of this interview. So, but those are things that are, that are kind of work we're working on right now. So, um, so yeah, I really can't spoil right. I, I hate, I hate. I hate these kind of questions because I want to tell you guys uh, because I'm a gamer and I'm all excited about it, but I also don't want to give away too much and be- speak before I should and stuff like that. So yeah, we'd rather yeah. be surprised, you know, like yeah, a surprise party. That was a bad analogy. So so, anyways, so yeah, there's there's a lot of things we're going. I think we're going to go to Germany this year. Um, we're going to be back in Tokyo for the Tokyo Game Show. Um, we are actually going to be. We're going to probably we're going to be working out the details probably in the next. 15, 20 days to be broadcasting live from TGS, um, which will be the first time that an American television network has broadcasted live from T- TGS. Um, so that's oh, kind of what we're, what we're hoping for. I made a lot of connections there last year th- that I was there, kind of prepped them for this year. Um, so it's looking pretty good so far. So that'll be kind of cool. Uh, although, get be prepared. They, you know, these companies don't have, like, English speaking PR people over there usually. Um, they usually, like Sony, didn't have one person in their bo- booth that actually spoke English. It was. That's uh, why you need was, me. You speak, you <laughs> speak <laughs> Japanese? Yeah, fluent. Well, I'll take you. Let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> Plugs Get your passport ready. Uh, I got one. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, so it was, it's, you know, it was a lot of, it was a lot of fun, uh, but we're going to be kind of all over the place this year. Yeah. All right. So, uh, Coming on to the next. Okay, you're talking to the people on the other streaming sites. You know, the lonely people on JTV, Ustream. You know, the gamers side. Uh, right. What do you say to them to make them come through the door of Ufrag and have a kick-ass time? I usually just bribe them with a lot of Twinkies and powdered donuts. Um, <laughs> that seems to work really well. Um, <laughs> That'll work for me. There you go. See, I mean, what, what, and, and if I threw in some hot pockets in there, they would never leave. Are you kidding? You got me. So you had me sold at Twinkies. See, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Twinkies, powdered donuts, and hot pockets. They'll never leave. That's, that's like a fucking festival feast for me. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> I said, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's really simple. It's, it's, you know, when we first launched the first UFRAG, there was like this huge, um, uh, like I don't know what it was. It was almost like a gang war between UFRAG and, and JTV, which I thought was absolutely ridiculous. Um, you know, it's kind of like this, man. If 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 Walmart opens up and you, and you got a Walmart in your town, okay, and you know you, everybody loves Walmart. Everybody knows Walmart. They know where to go get their you know their juju's and their wawas and whatever. And they you know they're they're comfortable, right? They got their little door greeter at the front of the door that calls you by their first name. Everybody's comfortable there, right? Yes. Yeah. Well, then what happens when Target down the street opens up? Do you automatically start hating Target? Do you just, like, stick outside their, uh, their front yard with little picket signs and go, fuck Target, go away, Target? No. It's, you don't do that because it's, all it does for you is gives you another option, right? So if, if Target doesn't have it, then you've got Walmart. If Walmart doesn't have it, you've got Target, right? Mm-hmm. And, and that's kind of the way I looked at this whole thing is that why would you – uh, start this big, you know, controversial war uh, when all I've been trying to do is give gamers an option. You know what I mean? If you want to broadcast over here, fine. If you want to broadcast over there, fine. Um, but I do want people to know that, you know, when they are on UFRAG, um, 
then they, you know, they do get, they do get, uh, you know, their questions answered and they do get, you know, responded to and, and ideas that they have do get implemented. Um, I mean, we're building a new website and, you know, a lot of the feedback, I mean, most of the feedback that we ever heard is coming from the community on why we're making these changes. Mm -hmm. um, and even and we even went a step further, okay? We even went a step further and went on Ustream's forums and listened to what people wanted on JTV because we listened to the community. We want to know what features people are wanting. Um, and so that doesn't mean that we're going to add everything, but we listen, you know what I mean? So it's like if, if someone says, I want an auction house or I want whatever, and it doesn't really fit in with what we're trying to do, then we're not going to add it. But if it does make sense and it's a good idea, then hell yeah. We're